What is going on guys, it is the Hawk. Doing my paintball video, uh, it's a gear setup, all my gear, everything. So since I've got a lot of shit to go through, I'm gonna jump right into it. Grab this fancy little light up here. See how fancy it is? Whoosh, lens flare, lens flare. So these right here, BT Combats, mainly use these for uh, any, every day you use, every field, any field, doesn't matter. Uh, mainly any game type really, it's got things on the side to do up. Um, just recently just picked up some uh, beautiful ATAX FG. Got the coat, this is all from proper so it is all real, double stitched and all that. Got the pants too. Everything, like this is really good material. Awesome camo, haven't tried it out yet, I wanna can't wait to get onto the field to, to use it. Definitely looking forward to using it. Um, next, we're actually going to go to my mask. Empire. Or, sorry. Not fucking Empire. <laughs> JT Profiler, I believe. Oh, sorry. V-Force Profiler. V-Force Profiler, Profiler right there. Got the nice little spiky things on top. Camera mount on the left side. And this was my very first mask, which was the JT. I don't even know what mask this is. It's like from four or five years ago almost. Lens is scratched, dirty, and all that. As we move on, we'll go. Uh, we'll go up to my vests here. First vest is a Gen X. Uh, I believe it's Crossfire vest. It's got your three mag slots on the front here. One, two, three. Big pouch on the side. Got ten round tubes on the side there. And you got four pods on the back to have. This has Velcro on the sides. This light is burning out. That is fucking creepy. Come on now. Moving over to this vest. It is a full clip conflict vest. This light really needs to stop doing this. Like, fuck. Come on, man. And then we got a water pot in there. That's not actually where it goes, though. It actually will go into a, like a pod slot in the back. It's got three big pouches and a map slash ID pouch. And now into the gear, the actual gear. Starting off, like this is how full my table is. It is a very full table. We'll start right here, though. Got the X7 Phenom. Two different mags to choose from. Got a bit of camo form on the grip. It is the electro uh, electro style, so it's got the e grip, or I can do just normal uh, mechanical. Two different grips. We got the stock grip, which is this black one right here, and then the MP5 grip. Uh, this right here, this piece, was that piece. It broke though, so we got one front shroud. This MP5 front shroud, and then like the mock silencer for the front shroud. We got uh, BT combat gloves, black, just plain black. Uh, probably gonna pick up a different set soon. Got a tack cap, and I also have the normal hopper. The hopper actually has a speed feed on it because my lid actually broke off. Barrel swab, and the, this is actually the Di Tiberius 8.1 players pack that's the case I'll show you the gun in a second um, we have a collapsible car stock the sling on it right here you can see it hanging down is a one point tactical sling I also have a two point sling right here and a three point sling in my bag somewhere down there I got three barrels one on the far left here stock barrel one in the middle is a flask 12 inch barrel which I can add custom tips to and the one on the f right here is the oh crap what's what is it uh, I can't remember it right now it's a 14 inch barrel the tip cannot come off on this one it is just on there just the way it is petrol that's the barrel it's a petrol barrel uh, we go into our ninja 6845 tank here. Uh, it's Grey Ghost, I guess. It's got the new gauge on it, Phil Nipple, la la blah blah. blah. Uh, 10 round tubes right there in between for paintballs for the pistol. 
Condor knee pads. Condor knee pads. I have not gotten to use these. I bought these for main use with those ATAX. So they will be getting some use. This holster right here is meant for the TPX. I am actually getting rid of it. I am selling it to a friend who bought a TPX. I was using it for a long time in my Tiberius. And it just, the Tiberius kept falling out. I lost it one game and some guy luckily returned it to me. As we go down, this right here is actually a pod pack. Let me see if I can throw this light up here and see you guys. I just dropped the light. Okay, you guys can't see that now. What if I hold it up? We got this is a pod pack. It's got four pods and a tank slot in the middle. I will be using this for speedball mostly. I really wish I had a fucking camera mount or something. I'm using my phone because my other camera memory is full. So, right here we got two pistol mags for the Tiberius. It, it, one is actually loaded with graffiti balls right now. You can see them. It holds eight. It does have a CO2 cartridge in there. I am meaning to fire it off later. Maybe for you guys, maybe not. This right here, Kydex holster from Skunk Works PB. You search them up. Um, right now, you have to email them to get this holster because they're uh, they're just getting their website up and going. You can see the Tiberius 8.1 in there. What I'm actually going to do here is throw that up there quickly. Stay, please. Bring this over here. There's the holster. It is on a Black Hawk drop leg mount right now. So this does not come out. It will not come out. Well, right now it will. It's got a button strap to go down there if you want to strap it in. It clips in right there. Here, I'll take it out of the holster. T8.1. See the white sights there? I am. I actually did buy a remote adapter for this. So the remote line will go right on the back here, and it will connect, so... I will no longer have to run CO2 cartridges. Those cost money after a while. It does have some wear on it. This uh, gray spot you're seeing right there. Those two gray spots. Those are actually from me banging it around a bit mid-game. Uh, but shit, shit gets used, bro. Shit gets used. Safety's right there. On both sides. The mag release is actually only on the one side here. Let me see if I can show you it. Right here, this that button right there is the mag release. Drops the mag out, put a new one in. So, let's continue on. I actually did pick up some first strike rounds. Tiberius is known for their first strike rounds. They're like riot rounds. They're meant for riot, I guess. I don't know how that actually works. This piece right here, this little armband I had before I had my vest, it, hold, it held sorry, CO2 cartridges and 10 round tubes. Moving on to my speedball marker. We got the E-Tech 3 AM two-piece, sorry, two-piece barrel. My friend actually gave me the Eclipse uh, barrel bag. I bought this used for 400 but it was pretty much brand new. No scratches, no bolt wear, nothing like that. Now, somebody asked uh, if I could show where the velocity adjustment is on the E-Tech. It is actually right there. See that black valve right at the bottom? Here, I'll bring the light in here. I don't know if you guys can see it, but it says a plus and a minus with an arrow. You can kind of see the arrow, kind of not. But right there, you twist that bottom piece, and uh, that's the velocity adjustment. Uh, it's got the macro line. And uh, we got our ball hauler for filling pods. I've got to find room for this. I have no idea where to put it right now. Because I've my bag, this bag, the Tipman uh, carry bag, this bag is absolutely filled to the rim when I've got everything going. You got a normal barrel sock in there. Pods, just gray pods. Um, also, in here is the Halo 2, uh, Invert Halo 2 hopper. I use that with my speedball gun because can't use it on the Tipman. Tipman is cyclone fed. Uh, paintball shoes are just normal running shoes. They got holes in them right now, so they're those shoes are pretty beaten up, to be honest. 
But that's pretty much my setup. I run remote line off here. I will be running two remote lines at one point. Um, so one remote line will go to my gun, one to the pistol. But off of one tank. That's that's the key. One tank. And that's what I uh, my friend actually does that. Who I, he's on a paintball team with me. He runs two pistols, one tank, and two remote lines. So there's a certain setup for it. So that's what the setup I'm going to be going for. But one's actually going to be my primary marker. And the pistol is going to have its own um, remote line. Also, I thought I'd show you guys this quickly. I got 500 graffiti paintballs here. I'm probably really close to you guys. 500 graffiti paintballs. I got these when I went to a big game in uh, Picton, Ontario. I uploaded the video. It was at PRZ. And these paintballs right here, they actually smell like chocolate. Believe it or not, they do smell like chocolate. <sighs> chocolate. I don't know why, but it, it's, it's, it's pretty cool in my opinion. Um, I, really, I really wish I had something to shoot down here, shoot at, but I don't. Uh, that's a workout area over there. But I'm uh, I'm actually going paintball again this weekend, so I'm gonna have some paintball videos for you guys to see a lot. I've actually got a lot for you guys to see right now from Cameron. So I'm going again this Sunday. Uh, I'm gonna get probably gonna be wearing those ATACs. So yeah, that's that's pretty much all my gear right now. I don't think I forgot anything. Pretty sure I got everything. Yeah. Definitely did. Two vests. X7. Now, this is like you can't see shit right now because of the lighting. So let's grab this portable lamp again. And this is just all my gear. Everything. E-Tech. Phenom. Two vests. Two masks. a FG camo. And BT Combat. Paintballs down there. Two bags because I don't have a big enough bag right now. And that is honestly all of my setup right now. So, thanks for watching, guys. If you guys have any questions, comments, let me know. I'll do my best to answer them. Um, questions about the gear, anything like that, want to see a how to video on how to do anything with this gear, let me know. I'll do my best. Thanks for watching, guys. Peace.